Hey, what is up YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. Do you remember Nokia, the company in Finland behind the indestructible Nokia 3310? You're probably wondering, whatever became of them? Well, back in 2013, they sold their mobile division to Microsoft, who then eventually sold it to a different company, also from Finland, HMD. So you'll still see Nokia branded phones floating around here and there, but they aren't owned by the Nokia company. Nokia isn't dealing with smartphones anymore. They've turned their sights on to bigger things, like the moon. By 2024, NASA plans on bringing humans back to the moon, but this time, it's to establish a long-term presence. Ahead of that, Nokia plans on completing its lunar-based 4G network in 2022. This will be the first wireless broadband communication system in space. The equipment of these towers will be delivered to the moon by a Texas-based design company, Intuitive Machines. Once the equipment is dropped off on the moon, it will then configure itself and establish a 4G connection. The 4G networks will give voice and video communication capabilities to the astronauts, as well as the ability to remotely control lunar rovers and other robotic devices. Nokia has decided to go with 4G because of its proven reliability and its range. On top of 5G being too new, it only has a range of 1,000 feet. So if you walk 5 minutes, you'll be out of range, whereas 4G's range is over 52,000 feet. Although the network will start off at 4G, Nokia is hoping to upgrade it to 5G in the future. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right corner of the video. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.